Welcome back, viewers! Yay! I'm back, you're back, we're all back, we're all screaming for ice creaming. Okay. Uh, so I'm back from Christmas holiday break kind of thing. Uh, so I'm gonna start uploading regularly again. Nothing to fear. Um, so, I don't, I don't know if I sound any different. I've been working with the sound stuff. I got a new microphone for Christmas. Uh, it's a high quality microphone. It's a non-headset microphone. So hopefully that'll all be good. I've been messing around with the sound stuff again to get it all good. Uh, other gaming Christmas presents of note, uh, in case you're interested. Got Nintendo 3DS, which is a cool piece of technology. like the improvements that they made. And uh, also Star Wars The Old Republic, which I'm having a blast with. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. Ooh, JT, the kid who's playing Dragon Age Origins LP in that. What a Bioware fan. Yeah, I am a Bioware fan. All right, moving on. All right, so episode 53. When we last left off, we just got done talking to Shale here. So we're going to keep heading off here. We talked to Sten. Let's talk to Alistair. What's up, what bro? Well, I want to talk to you. Ask away. Let's see here. Tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. So, will we need to start rebuilding the Order? I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more Grey Wardens, right? Yeah. But I don't know how to do the joining, or what's involved. I know it involves Lyrium and some other magic, and that it's really difficult to prepare, but that's it. Unless we can find out more about the joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now. Until more come from elsewhere. Hmm. Alright, no more questions. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Nothing else. We're good. Alright, Liliana. What's going on, girl? I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I... I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was Wait. when my mother died. Uh, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Okay. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. Hmm. Well, we believe that we return to the stone and become ancestors. And thus, you embark upon another journey. Death is just the gateway. Wait, is she gonna, is she gonna sing for us? Oh, this is gonna be awkward. Oh, look at her eyes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get a whole bunch of different camera angles on Liliana singing. So we got one in the face, one from above. Ooh, really close in. That's a good one. So viewers, you tell me, because I'm not sure. Like, this doesn't sound like Liliana. But I thought I heard somewhere that this actually is her voice actor singing this. So, you can tell me- Ooh, Dr. Barker, so he's being- He's being soothed by the song. Time to relax. So yeah, tell me if this is really her or not, if you know. So, what is she? Is she singing? Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, yeah. Serenading me, like, right in front of my face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like this. This is good. Keep going. Keep going. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Then I can never tell what emotion you are trying to show me. Ooh, let's see Alistair. I want to see how Alistair's reacting to this. Yeah! Wait, why is he kneeling? Alistair's totally in love with Liliana. Or Morgan, one of the two. 
Not to worry, bro. I can hook you up. Thank you for that beautiful song, Liliana. That was truly wonderful. We all enjoyed it. Nobody felt awkward. Except maybe you. Wait, I don't even get to say that she did a, you did a good job. What is this? All right, let's talk. Yes? Something you need? Obviously, or I wouldn't be talking to you. Yes? What's mm. on your mind? Hmm, so why did you decide to come to Ferelden? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. When Orle was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orle. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orle and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. Hmm. Well, what happened to your mother? Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. Well, uh, what was Cecile like? She Dr. Was Barker's an elderly be quiet. Lady, I'm trying to talk to Liliana. She had impeccable manners and taste, more so than a lot of Olesian ladies. Dr. Barker. Cecily was also kind. My mother was unmarried and with child. It was scandalous. Dr. Barker. She had every right to turn my mother out. She didn't. Strangely, the only well, thing I nice really of remember of mother was her scent. What? She kept dried flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden and wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in all lanes. Viewers, viewers, but I enough think I about have that. that. Let us move on. I, I think I can give that to Liliana as a gift. Let's remember that for later. Okay. Yes? Something you need? Well, yes. Yes? What's on your mind? So, uh, do you miss anything about Orlais? I miss Val Royaux. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Val Royaux was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Val Royaux, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses. And always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. Hmm. It sounds wonderful. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orlais. Her golden fields, her lush meadows. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orlais, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orlais. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Uh, well, it must have been a big change moving to Lother Lothering. I left behind much, leaving Orlais. But there is more to life than dresses and furs. It is sad that many have lost sight of this. Orlais is very fashionable. Almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes... Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. What? <laughs> oh, I love shoes. When I left Orle, the fashion You're not even going to respond to that? Tapered heels and embellishments in the front. Liliana, a you, ribbon, you perhaps, crazy. Or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Hmm. Oh, that sounds lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue Remember, I'm just sucking up. On the, toe. the shoes made in Orlais were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. What? Yeah, just look at them. I, they're, yeah, they come, no, wait, uh, <clears throat> you don't need fancy shoes to make you beautiful. Thank you. It's kind of you to say so, even wearing these mud-covered horrors. They're not that bad. They're sturdy shoes, but sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. I know oh, I what you mean. I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? No, nope. we could just keep talking about shoes. That's all we really need from life. All right, let's close out this fine episode by talking to, me. <laughs> quite literally, Dr. Barker is barking away over here. Clearly, he needs a pet. Oh, come here, boy. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are? You are? Yes, you are. Oh, you're such a good boy. 
All right. Well, that's it for episode 53. Join us next time, viewers, and we will continue to talk to Liliana, maybe get a little bit of Morgan, and uh, then I think we'll be heading on our way again, moving on to our next part of the mission to defeat the Darkspawn, to gather our army and all that jazz. So, thanks for tuning in, viewers, and I'll see you next time.